I'm going to tell you seven homeopathic medicines using which you can cure almost 99% cases of piles that comes to your clinic. I will also tell you few emergency medicines that you can use to get instant relief and we are going to start right now. Hello everyone, my name is Dr. Taha Khan. Welcome to my YouTube channel where I share with you clinic and exam related productivity tips and strategies. If this is your first time here, start now by subscribing and hit the bell icon so that you don't miss anything. Before talking about the medicines, let me tell you a few very basic stuffs related to piles that you should know as a doctor or a patient or an individual because these might help to prevent piles and even cure it without medication and without ever having to consult a doctor. So the first thing that we need to know is what are piles. Piles are basically swollen veins. Veins are pipes that carry blood from one place to another and are present all over your body, just beneath your skin. Most common vein that you can relate to is the median cubital vein, which is this vein. But in piles, the veins in the anus or lower rectum swells up. And as you can see, they are filled with blood. And these piles may be internal or external. You can see external hemorrhoids and internal prolapsed hemorrhoids, which are exposed outside the anus. But you cannot see internal hemorrhoids because they remain inside the anus. The next thing that we need to know is why does piles or hemorrhoids occur? Hemorrhoid is just a different name for piles. So in piles, the veins swell up and get filled with blood due to increased pressure. And this pressure increase may happen due to a number of reasons. So the first reason is low fiber diet, which may lead to hard stool. And this may cause a person to strain while having a bowel movement, thereby increasing the pressure within the blood vessels. Pregnancy is also associated with hemorrhoid swelling and is likely due to the increased pressure of the enlarged uterus on the rectum. Prolonged sitting on the toilet seat may also increase pressure within the hemorrhoidal blood vessels. Then is obesity. Then regular heavy lifting causes increased pressure, which may lead to hemorrhoid. Then lastly, having chronic diarrhea or constipation may also lead to the development of hemorrhoids. Now let us see a few signs and symptoms of piles that will help us to select the best homeopathic medicine. The signs and symptoms of piles are piles. Piles may be painless, but they may also be mild to severe pain. There may also be itching, swelling and feeling of a lump, bleeding during bowel movements. Then there may also be burning. Now, before talking about the medicines for piles, let us see how we can prevent it without taking any medicines. So to prevent it, we basically need to take care of the causes that produces it like eating high fiber foods. A healthy diet should contain about 25 to 30 grams of fiber a day. Fruits, vegetables, whole grains contains good amount of fiber. Doing so will soften the stool, thereby less straining during the stool and ultimately less pressure. Drinking plenty of fluids, 6 to 8 glasses of water every day will help keep the stools soft. Do not strain, don't force your bowel movements. Pushing and straining can make your hemorrhoids even worse. Don't hold back, go as soon as you feel the urge. If you wait to pass a bowel movement and the urge passes away, your stool could dry out and would become even harder to pass. Exercise to prevent constipation and also to reduce pressure on veins. Exercise will also help you to lose excessive weight, which is also, as we have seen, one of the causes for hemorrhoids. Now let us talk about the medicines for piles. These are the medicines that I have been using in my clinic for quite some time now and have not failed me. Our medicine selection will depend upon the symptoms. When there is no bleeding, only pain. And along with the pain of piles, there is lower back pain also. The medicine is Esculus. In Allen's keynote, under Esculus, there is written blind piles, which means non-bleeding piles. Then there is pain in rectum and lumbosacral backache, which is the red line symptom of Esculus. When there is pain plus itching and there is relief by cold application, like the pains are relieved by applying cold water, then the medicine is aloes. When there is pain plus burning sensation and there is relief by applying something warm, then the medicine is arsenic. And if this pain is during walking or sitting, but not during stool, then better. Agar ye symptom nahi bhi hai, to sif pain, burning, amulated by something warm, arsenic is the medicine. Piles developing during pregnancy or after childbirth, the medicine is collinsonia. And also if there is piles plus any heart disease in a person, then also the medicine is collinsonia. When the piles is very sensitive to touch, 
how will you understand this cannot bear touch of underwears or there is pain while washing with water because the region is very sensitive to touch the medicine is muriatic acid when there is pain plus bleeding the medicine is nitric acid when there is pain which is aggravated on sitting the medicine is thuja i will tell you few more medicines that you may require when there is pain which is relieved by sitting on something hard the medicine is calica when piles develop as a result of chronic constipation the medicine is causticum also when the patient is trying to pass stool and piles comes in front of the anal orifice and this prevents stool from coming out the medicine is again causticum few emergency medicines these are the few emergency medicines that you can use when all the medicines that i have mentioned before is not working symptoms hai medicine de rahe magar kaam nahi kar raha then use these medicines so the first medicine is hemomelis this medicine is used to stop bleeding to control hemorrhage when hemomelis is not working to stop bleeding use blumia mother tincture and when both of these medicines are not working when hemomelis is also not working when blumia is also not working then comes the sevia the medicine is ficus religiosa this medicine acts like a hemorrhage arrester the next medicine is retinia similar to aloes means there is pain plus itching and it is ameliorated by cold application but here the pain is intense so to get immediate relief from pain use retinia the next medicine is pinia pain plus painful ulcer oozing offensive moisture that causes pain before and during stool also when the pain of piles is relieved from walking use this medicine so these were the medicines that i use in my clinic to treat piles and i don't remember i have required any other medicine try these medicines in your clinic yourself and i'm sure you would become expert in piles treatment well along with the medicine you need to maintain a healthy lifestyle as well that i mentioned earlier like nutritious diet plenty of water adequate sleep pattern and these kind of stuff i'm sure you must be having lot of questions and queries going through your mind right now feel free to post all your questions down in the comments below and i would try to give a suitable reply to each and every one of them one important thing for all of you who have watched the video this far I have prepared a PDF document of all the medicines that I have mentioned today along with their indications. If you want that document, just type in your email address in the comments below and I would mail them to you. Let me know how you like this video. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Share it with your friends and I'll see you in the next video.